Guys, DaVinci Resolve 19 is great. It's got a new feature called Music Remixer. And what that does is allows you to isolate the vocals in a music track or take out the vocals in a music track or take out a specific instrument in the music track. Like if you want to remove the guitar, just take out the guitar. Take out the drums. Do whatever you want. It's like, it's magical. It's magical. Let's see how it works. I've got two music tracks here that I downloaded from Artlist. One is kind of an electronic song. The other is a country music song or a folk music song. To use the music remixer, you click on the audio track, not the actual audio clip, but over here on the left, not on a button. And then up in your inspector, you just turn on music remixer. So... We're gonna see if we can take those vocals out. That's pretty incredible. That's really impressive. Well, let's see what the, uh, we can do with the country music song. Mute voice. An unmute voice. That's incredible. That's really good. So if you want to take an audio track that's got vocals in it and take the vocals out is absolutely possible right in DaVinci Resolve. And in the music remixer, you know, we've got a bunch of other options. We can take out drums, bass, I don't know what mute other is. I'm sure it's just trying to isolate another instrument and guitar. So let's take out the guitar in this country music song. That was not perfect. I still heard a little bit of uh, it's either a guitar, a mandolin, or a banjo. It definitely distorted the lead's voice a little bit. But it's still very impressive. I also tried this on another song and it seemed to work on this song even better. So it seems like it depends on the song as to how well this works. So there's the, the voice taken out. Now let's just take the guitar out. Let's take the drums out. Uh, lower the lead's voice. Now we can boost her voice. There's definitely artifacting depending on what you're trying to do. Taking the voice out seems to work really, really well. And then it just depends. If you're getting some artifacting and distortion, you should have better results by not taking a instrument or vocal out completely. And uh, this is really, really impressive. That was pretty great. It's not perfect, but I think if you've got dialogue over top of it, it'll work great as background music. And you might have to do a little bit of fancy editing just to cut out a few of the places where it doesn't take out a instrument or vocals perfectly, but I think it's gonna be really, really useful, and primarily for me in two ways. Taking out the vocals of a song, if I just want the instrumentals and there's not an instrumental track for that song, that'll be really nice and give me some more music options so I don't have to go to my stock music website and click instrumentals only. Also, sometimes you might really like a song, but there's an instrument in there that you wish wasn't there. It just doesn't fit the mood of the piece that you're editing, and being able to remove that instrument is really pretty amazing. Blackmagic design, I'm very impressed. I'll see you in the next one.